Once you find enough information, it is very important to evaluate it. It's important to evaluate what we read. Just because information is out there doesn't mean it's always the perfect information. So when we read information, we do need to critically evaluate. We need to look at it with a, a critical mind. So in order to do this, you need to use the three W's. That is the who, the why, and the when. The who is the author. So who is the author who has written whatever book, article, or newspaper article that you, you want to read? What is their authority and expertise? It's important to ask the question, what authority does this person have in the subject area and when I say what authority do these people have does the author have what I mean by that is that someone who has conducted research in an area someone who has spent some time some extended time looking at an area in terms of research let's say for example they've done a, a doctoral thesis which took them six years to do they have authority they speak with authority because they have spent a lot of time looking at that subject area. Somebody who has spent an extended period of time writing a book or writing an area, they have they've researched it and they know about it. So it's very important to, to, to that your information that you, 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 you refer to is of people, of authoritative sources, people who have conducted research, people who know what they are talking about, people who are theorists, for example, people who have developed a theory. So you also need to look then at why and ask yourself the question, why was the information created? So what is this information about? Why was it created? Is it based on factual information or on opinion? Was it written to educate? Or to entertain so you need to ask yourself this question and you need to look at does the information present a balanced argument it's important to look at information that presents a balanced argument is it only one-sided is it is it biased as you go progress in your studies and I suppose go into fourth year or third year of your degree program, lecturers expect that you critically evaluate information more and more. And what that means is that it asks you to look at balanced views and uh, balanced arguments that scholars and authors and writers present. It's important to look at when information was created uh, especially when you are looking at information that's on websites. Very important to look at when was this information created and then when was the website updated. If it's an, an, a website that was created a long time ago, 10 years ago, and it has never been updated, surely you should ask yourself the question, in the past 10 years, some more new, fresh information has come into, into being it's not on this website so be sure to be able to 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 reference information that's more current and also information that's that is from a long time ago for example you might be looking at attachment theory for example which was created by john bowlby and if you think about john bowlby and you think about the 60s well now we are in the in the, in the 50s so a, a, an extended period of time has passed. So after Bowlby has written about attachment theory, other theorists have come and critiqued his theory. They have come and evaluated his theory. So in your citation of the literature, it is important to be able to, to demonstrate that ability to, to know that uh, the, the, the information has moved on and, and has changed and other writers have come in and have said other, have given other points of view from what was said 50 years ago. Websites, newspapers and social media are very useful 
for a new topic, but you must evaluate the quality of information that is presented. If we think, for example, about the Irish Times or the Irish Independent, vis-a-vis -vis the Daily Mirror or the Star, when we look at those different newspapers, they present information very, very differently. It's important for you to be able to make a judgment of which newspaper article would you reference, which newspaper article, which source would you take information from, and which one is an authoritative source that you can in include in your academic writing. Because the newspaper articles, as we know, um, they, they gather information, but how authoritative is a paper um, when it presents information is a good question to ask yourself.